Now at 5.30, a father sentenced for murdering his infant son. The powerful words today from the DA and witnesses. Also, a local case of lead poisoning linked to a nationwide applesauce recall. And a child caught in the crossfire during a DoorDash delivery. We begin with a Caledonia father convicted of murdering his infant son, now headed to prison, Zachary McCaw, getting 22 years to life today. Zachary McCaw showing little emotion Tuesday as a Livingston County judge handed down a sentence of 22 years to life for killing his two and a half month old son, Caden, last year. But to never show remorse, never show emotion. I mean, this was his son. You know, this was his parents' grandchild. Prosecutors say McCaw was home alone with Caden in June 2022 when he threw the baby, shook him violently, causing blunt force injuries. Caden died seven days later. So it really seemed at the time that, you know, cases like this all the time, babies come ill, babies get injured, you know, try to figure out what happened. I never would have thought in that moment what we would learn about, you know, the brutal torture that this baby had to endure. You know, this became my life for the last 18 months fighting for Caden. In September, a jury convicting McCaw of second degree murder, second degree manslaughter and endangering the welfare of a child. And I never would have hoped for or wished for a case such as this. I mean, to a two and a half month old baby, you know, brutally murdered by his own father. That shouldn't happen anywhere. And it's sure nothing I ever expected in, in our sleepy county. Dr. Elizabeth Murray, a pediatrician at Golisano Children's Hospital, was one of the medical experts to testify in this heartbreaking case. We know parenting is an incredibly challenging job, so we're left with what do we do to prevent these types of tragedies, and I wish there was a simple answer. There is not. If you are faced with extreme frustration, put your child down and walk away. They will be safe in their crib, even if they're crying for 20 minutes. That's okay. Um, just walk away. Get some help. McCaffrey says Caden's mother and maternal grandmother were in court for today's sentencing.